by TBC what's the deal now the potential of this fight has been talked about for at least about two months now month and a half um, so it's official I've already done a video about this fight but I'm just putting this video out there just to let you know it's official I got this article from boxing scene I'll leave it in the description box you check it out for yourself and come to your own surmise but Kirby Pulo is going to fight Derek Tresura May 7th for the EBU title and it's an IBF eliminator um, so I'm curious to see what's going to go on this being an IBF eliminator because I know that uh, you know we know Charles Martin's getting ready to fight Anthony Joshua and then it, it was said that Joseph Parker versus Carlos Taka winner will face um, the winner out of Parker and Martin. So with this IBF eliminator, I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Um, so I don't, I don't know if the winner of this may face the winner out of uh, Taka and Parker and then. The winner out of those elimination bouts will be the, you know, the consensus number one challenger. I'm not sure yet, but it is an IBF eliminator. Um, Pulev goes on in this article, says this fight's very important to me. I mean, both guys just looking forward to the fight. Not really much here. Just your basic things, fighter would say. Um, Pulev also said that Chasura has been on his radar for a while. Um, just, I'm sorry. Chasura said that about Pulev. Um, just they're both excited about this opportunity. They're both sitting there in great shape. They're training hard. Um, I just hope that Derek Chisura comes in this fight in much better shape than he has been. Because um, I think he's going to have to get himself in the best shape as possible to really give himself um, the best chance to win this fight. Um, he does have an ambush type of style. He does want to get close to you and then try to rough you up like that. Try to fight you from a distance, you know. And that's what he's going to try to do with Pulev. But Pulev has a very good jab. He even stopped Houston off just by jabbing him to death. You know, he has great amateur pedigree. Um, who beat him in the Olympics? I believe Oscar Rivas upset him in the Olympics that year. But amateur pedigree, he's fought some of everybody. You know, his only loss is to Klitschko. You know, but, uh, you know, Jared Trishore, like I said, it's just, I don't know if he's going to try to come in at 240. I don't know if those days are long and gone. The last time he came in around 240 was the Tyson Fury fight when he came in at 241. The fight prior to that, Kevin Johnson, he was 238. And the fight prior to that, he was uh, 235 against Edmund Gerber. I mean, that's when he looks pretty damn decent to me is when he coming in around those weights. Um, he, the Klitschko fight, 241. Hey, he was 240. So when he's in his 240s, Malik Scott, he was 242. When he's around at 235, 240-ish, I like that. But this, you know, his last, what, five, four or five fights, he's coming in at 256, 260, 250. Now, again, these are against lesser opposition, but still journeymen with experience. Um, not Cemento and Jacob Gospic and guys like that, but major step up for him against Polov. It is a winnable fight. Maybe he can press Polov against the ropes and rough him up like that, but fight him from distance. I think Pulev is going to dominate with his jab right hand, and he should be able to do that all night. Now, he isn't the most defensively responsible guy. I mean, there are going to be opportunities and holes there for Chisura to land one of those overhand rights or overhand lefts and really rough it up with Pulev. But I see Pulev being just as strong in the clinch. I'm not sure what type of shape Chisura is going to come in at. Um, you know, he says he's going to be in shape. Of course, he's going to say that, but I'm not sure what type of weight he's going to come in at for this fight. Like, a, again, hopefully it's somewhere in that top, uh, you know, 240-ish or something like that. But 250 or over, if he comes in at that way, I think he's going to lose. I don't think him being that heavy in weight is giving himself the best opportunity to win. Like I said, you may argue, you know, at 32, maybe he can't get down anymore. But he's only 32 years old. It's not like he's 42, you know. And uh, it's not like there's a lot of weight to burn if he's doing it the right way. His last fight was January 9th. So if he's been in the gym, been training, you know, he's been trying to stay active too. 2015, he fought, he fought four fights. But again, they were all, to me, at bad weights against uh, low opposition. I don't think he should have went the full 10 rounds with Marcelo Nascimento. And I think it was due to him weighing 260 pounds. I really do. Um, I understand that Nascimento has been in there with guys like, you know, Johan Duopa and Carlos Takam and Dillian White and Eddie Chambers and Joseph Parker, so on and so forth. Solomon Huamano, guys like that, but I didn't think uh, Chisora, you know, 
should have had him take him the full 10 rounds. Now, you could say it was to get Chisura just back in the ring and get him some some rounds up under him, but thought he should have ended that early. But I think Pulev's going to win this fight uh, by decision. I think his jab's going to be too much. Um, just think right now he's a better all-around fighter than Chisura. If Chisura comes in, like I said, at 245, something like that, then he has a very good shot of winning this fight. But just from the outset, from the first look of it, I'm going to go with... Um, I'll go a pull off in, in, in this fight. Just letting you guys know that it's finally signed, set, and delivered. It's IBF title eliminator. And they're also fight for that EBU title. May 7th is going down. Pull off versus Derek Chisura. Like I said, I'm going with pull off in, in, in this fight, man. I just think, um, just think right now he's the better fighter. YTBC, I'm out.